Hello, and welcome back to another video. My name is Jake the Genealogist, and in today's video, we're going to be going over what I consider the top five best Jewish genealogy websites. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am actually Jewish, and so visiting these websites definitely helps me in my research for my family tree, and I hope it helps you guys too if you happen to have Jewish ancestry. So, let's get on to the first one. Okay, so the first website we're going to be talking about today is um, Miriam Wiener's Roots to Roots Foundation. Now, um, the way you can get to this website is just by entering rtrfoundation.org, and then you'll get right to this page. Now, um, this page is not necessarily for finding records of genealogy, um, but it's more like kind of finding where records are located. So, for example, you can go into the archive database right here, and you can search archive documents. And for example, you can enter a town name. Now, I'm gonna enter, for example, a town my family is from, um, which is called Makarov, which is in Ukraine. And so if I search this up, apparently I can't find anything. Let's try that again. Um, okay, you might want to put, um, one of the Soundex things on that just kind of helps you. Okay, so this is the town, and, um, you can find all of these different records right here. So, for example, you can find a census, death records, divorce records, army recruit records, birth records, marriage records, all that sort of stuff. Now, if you click on each of them, it tells you where it happens to be located. Now, in this case located in the archives of Ukraine in Kiev, and um, this is just a useful resource, so you can kind of find out where some of these records are located. So, for example, if you happen to be going to that country, maybe you can go visit the archives and find those specific records and potentially look through them if they allow it, because I know Ukraine specifically has been very stingy on how many records they're releasing and it's starting to grow recently but um definitely a good resource if you're looking at what kind of records are available for your town okay so now we're going to be talking about the second website i think you should visit which is called the sal kaplan foundation now if you want to go to this website just simply type in tkfgen Dot org and you'll get there. I'll also include links to all these websites in the description of this video. So um, basically, this website um, is kind of almost like the um, Roots to Roots Foundation website that I just showed you, because it has a lot of um, different resources and records from Eastern Europe, and um, so also it has a little bit mixed in with some. Um, records right here so you can click um archive right here if you click on that menu you can get to this kind of menu right here where you can select a certain country in eastern europe and it shows you resources from that place um and this is very very useful and um for anyone who wants kind of um really get started with finding some records from that area and then you can also go to shtetls right here and click on certain regions of these places like you can click on kiev and you can find all this stuff and you can um it can contain descriptions of documents birth records censuses immigration permissions and um a whole map of the area and um you can find some links about it too and you can go into families find out about surnames um some genealogy tips some family stories and i guess they haven't put any stories or um, much migration yeah that's coming soon apparently and then you can go to recollections and find books letters stories and articles and documentaries and all that sort of stuff and um, finally, you can go to Calamities and find out more information about stuff like the Holocaust, pogroms, and evacuation, and immigration to America and other countries like that. So, overall, a very useful website that I'd recommend you visit. 
Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the third website. Now, this website is JRI Poland, Jewish Records Indexing Poland. And um, this website, I'd say, um, is um, one of the few that I really use a lot. Some of these I don't use nearly as much as others, but this one I have to say um, is one of the two I use the most. I'll tell you about the other one. And that um, this is a great website if your ancestors happen to be from Poland or a region that um, used to be part of Poland, maybe nowadays somewhere else. So um, there's all these links, but I think the most, all these different tabs, I mean, uh, but I think the most useful one is to go to searching the database. Um, this has, this is basically the place you want to go for finding um, Polish records if your um, family is Jewish. This is the website to go to. So um, definitely be sure to check this one out. And um, so basically you can search up any kind of surname right here. And um, the great thing is you can add other data types. So for example, if you wanna search for the town they came from, or you can search any field containing certain thing, like maybe their occupation, and um, maybe, for example, you can see all the searches I've done. Um, you can search up, for example, if they were a tailor or something, and they lived in, um, let's say, Warsaw or something. And then you can also match it to certain geographical regions all throughout Poland. Overall, it's just a really nice extensive site. And then you can find this, um, you can view all the different results on a map and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, but then you can click on each one of these and um, can get to these records. So you can find, oh, look, it says Taylor right here. And it looks like this person was born in Warsaw. And I guess one of the witnesses was a Taylor. Or, um, oh yeah, this person, who, um, in the marriage record, um, there were apparently a tailor. And, um, so, overall, a pretty useful site, and definitely, definitely, definitely check this out if you have some kind of, um, Polish genealogy in your family. Okay, so the fourth website we're talking about today is Yad Vashem, and, Basically, um, they're all about the Holocaust and um, everything about it, all the different concentration camps, all the murders, all the evacuations, all that kind of stuff. It's all here, and I think this is um, probably the best Holocaust um, genealogy website there is out there. Um, you might argue that the um, United States Holocaust Museum website might be better, but I personally use this the most. And um, so, basically right here you got a whole variety of different things. You can do a lot of research, you can learn about it, um, you can look at museums, exhibitions, remembrance, all this type of stuff. Um, I find that the coolest place to go is all the digital collections now um, when I just tried because this is a re-recorded clip when I just tried to visit um, what I think is the best database the Showa names database which is all the murders that the Nazis committed um, against the Jews um, when I tried to visit that place it was really slow to load so I'll just tell you about it basically you can just go in there and search for certain people and um, you can find both evacuation records if your family got evacuated to a certain place. Um, and you can also find um, transport records if they got transported to a concentration camp, as well as just um, testimonies um, from some of the um, relatives who might have filled out a certain form, as well as finding just straight up um, death records from lists from a certain town. And um, overall, this is a great website to visit um, for many reasons, and you guys should definitely check it out. Okay, and we've saved the best for last 
what is, in my opinion, probably the best Jewish genealogy website there is out there, and that is jewishgen.org. Um, it literally says down here, the global harm for G Jewish genealogy, and that is not an understatement. So, there's, um, basically, this website is um, ancestry.com version of Jewish genealogy. It has um, millions of records, and you can go and search them right here and so they got the same kind of box type thing as they did in um, JRI Poland and um, there was just millions of records you can search for 2.75 million records related to the Holocaust just and 3 million burial records 850 unique collections you can go to all these databases um, one of the great things that they have is called ViewMate, where basically you can actually go and if you want documents translated that you can't translate because they're in another language, then you can go and upload your image right here. And um, you have no more than five files per week, but you can upload these. And then another person who's also on Jewish Dead, um, within a couple days from my experience, um, will answer. Um, with the translation of that, and that helps a lot to get a real boost. I've done that a lot from records from JRR Poland that I needed translation for because I can't really read Polish or uh, Cyrillic. And so, a very helpful thing, you can also look at Yizkor books, which are um, basically books about um, towns that kind of got destroyed in the Holocaust, and you can search for all of them, and sometimes they have um, necrology index, um, all of the Holocaust martyrs, um, the people who perished from that town a lot of the time, and so very helpful research tool. And um, of all of these websites, if you don't check out any of the other ones, definitely check out this one. Um, it has all the gene Jewish genealogy you could want all of it, all across the world, from Argentina all the way to Israel, all kinds of things, and um, definitely check this out. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video. I'll be sure to put the links to all the websites down in the description, and if I don't, you can just yell at me down in the comments. So. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.